fellow Nigerian youth, congratulations on our drive for a better Nigeria. Congratulations on our collective resolve to demand a better society for ourselves and for our children yet unborn. Congratulations yet again on our collective doggedness to refuse enemies of our lives and enemies of our collective advancement as people of this great nation. I have with me here a set of bullet points that I will speak freely from my mind for. And I sincerely hope that someone out there will be encouraged and people in positions of authority will be touched. It was once said by a wise man that things get bad, paraphrasing him now, that things get bad and worse and worse in, in every society when those that should speak keep quiet. So to everybody out there that, sh that has the platform but is not using it in defense of the good of the greatest majority, I pray that posterity and, and, and the God of or the God beyond the physical will judge, will judge you justly. There's a God and there's the, 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 the mother of justice. I pray that the mother of justice will judge you fairly in the court of human and social opinion. Now the first thing I, I have here is to make a clarification actually a caveat it's quite unfortunate today that in nigeria every comment every statement of political value you make in the public space people weigh that weigh those, those statements and measure it within the narrow prism of politics ex ethnicity and religion and i'd like to say very quickly that i am a southern nigerian christian that was born and bred in the north I had my child, my childhood upbringing in in the north, and all my child, all my childhood friends till date are Muslims. Is it from, um, um, um from, from finance to Sham Sudin to Malam Sanusi, to Malam Soba, to 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 come with Ahmed to Idris, just name them. These people are people that I that I've known from day one. They are my friend Dickens of Bokenanani, Akaduna Kaipin, Akaduna Natash. People that know me very well in Kaduna, they call me Comet. Why? Because in the build-up to the 2015 general elections, people like me, we stood and we, com we campaigned for Buhari one-on-one -on -one because we believe that Jonathan was running this country aground. We, be we, we, we believe that there was impunity in the, in the land. Same with we, we now said that we needed change. And... Frankly speaking, I wasn't ex ex expecting a miracle from the president when he took office on May 29, 2015. But what we have seen now is a system where there is absolutely no tolerance for dissenting views. Anybody that talks and speaks against policies of government is seen as the enemy of the state. And that is quite disheartening. Mr. President cannot be perfect. In fact, if you ask me, he has failed in defense and in performance of the primary duty of government, which is the security of lives and properties. So I want to make it very clear that this protest as ends us, as end police brutality, as take control of Nigeria, is not about a protest that is geared towards the president is not anti-president. If I were to have the opportunity to advise President Muhammad Buhari on this issue, I would, I would tell him that, Mr. President, this is history giving you a great opportunity to change the history of this country forever. Dan me dan ka ba ma yaran talakawa talakawa kasan nan ka ba su kwance hankali people still have confidence the public goodwill on you mr president is still very high do not let psychophants and hypocrites around the corridors of power that are career politicians to keep on lying to you 
Nigerian youths on the streets today, they are not criminals. The NSAS agitation is just the first out of the many issues that are plaguing us as a country. And God forbid, I am not against Buha I, I, I am not for Buhari must go. I am against any 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 social um, assembly that will seek for the ousting of a democratically elected president. No, that's not the, the solution. But in a case where you see people protesting and state-sponsored thugs infiltrate their ranks with the aim of causing mayhem and giving them a bad name to hang them, it's unacceptable, Mr. President. And I know you are watching, and I know the, the, the whole world is watching, and I know that you will do what is needed even in your country. It's not enough to travel to Mali or other African countries and try to intervene in their democracy. Right before our eyes, Mr. President, our country is going down a very dangerous path. And I pray for you, Mr. President. I pray for the wisdom. I pray for courage that you do the right thing and shun the antics and petty advice of psychophant politicians that, that are against the unity and, and development of our country. So the, the, the next thing I, I want to say is on the statement credited to the Senate President, Ahmad Lawan. You see, I, as a person, I don't have faith in Ahmed Lawan. And I have my, my reasons, but I'm not going to give those reasons to today. So I, I see it as an insult on the collective intelligence of Nigerian youths, most of which are doctors in their own right, some of them first-class law graduates. He should know no, no better calling them to end a, a protest. That's, 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 that's an insulting statement to, uh, to make. It's, instead of taking a cue from his counterpart in the House of Reps, Right Honorable Femi Bajabiamela, who made a fantastic 11 minute um, um, speech on the floor of the House, as Speaker of the House, where he made two very deep and far reaching comments. One, that he will not append the signature to any 2021 20, appropriation bill that does not, one, sort the, the, the issue of ASU permanently to, or to, a, to a reasonable extent, and two, approve for compensation of families of persons that have been brutally affected by, by the brutality of SARS. How on earth would he tell Nigerians that he is telling the protestants to leave the street? Is this how to be a rubber stamp to development-driven policies by, by the president? Does he call this, this, this attitude from leaders above his is 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 pay pay grade something to a, a to sanction. I think Ahmed Lawa Senate Ahmed Lawa Senate President. He does not only owe Nigerian youth an, an, an apology. He should issue a, a statement reversing that that empty and hypocritical call for them to to leave the streets. Now, the 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 the, the third thing I want to say and, and which will be the last point here is is this. Operation Crocodile, the military would claim, is an operation that they had in, in their calendar. And the, the, a very critical component of the Operation Crocodile is cyber security. For crying out loud, the timing, even if it's in the calendar, the timing of the execution is ill. The law is made for man, not man for the law. When, when people's anger have reached rooftops, the thing to do by a reasonable and sensible government that feels the pulse of its people is to withdraw on any of these this, 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 this programs. The SAS, anti-SAS protesters calling for a, a sinner Nigeria, they had a, a, an account with, with the CBN that the government sought to, to scuttle and, and they resorted to, uh, to use of of, of Bitcoin. So they now want to attack the security of the internet 
that these young people are, are using to keep the protest afloat. They have built an effective ecosystem, an ecosystem that has shown government, that government should see as, a, uh, as, as an opportunity to borrow a leaf for a better and more eff efficient management of, 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 of government monies. Now, I have seen the protest in Lekki. I have seen the protest in Alausa. I have seen the protests in key parts in Lagos. I have also seen the protests in Abuja and another parts of Nigeria. Use of tear gas to disperse for crowd dis dis dispersal is not only inhumane, it is an affront to the rights of Nigeria to demand Nigerians to demand a better society. Use of force should be the last port of call, should be the last resort in crowd dis dispersal. This is a given in 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 in, in security affairs. So it is something that every self-respecting Nigeria must condemn. Um, the military should not allow itself to be drawn into politics. The chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Bugatai, I speak to you as a man that I know is reasonable. You should not let yourself to be drawn into politics. We have serious issues with terrorism and banditry all across the, the, the country, from the northwest to the north central to the northeast. The military should that, that is already overstretched should not be brought in to in quotes guide, in quote, guide and watch harmless and 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 hapless Nigerian youths that are on, that, that that are unarmed, just trying to with placards, trying trying to communicate their discontent over a over decades of of leadership failure. Like my mentor will say, one of my one of Nigerian commentators that I respect so much, Comrade Show Sunny, he said that paraphrasing him now. When when the youth blocked the 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 road to the airport, international airport, Namdi Azuki, he said, "These people are blocking the the road be because their future has been blocked." So, to end this this video, this is the very first video I'm going to make on any issue of of public importance, but I want to call on all protesters. Stay put where you are. Be law abiding, don't destroy public properties, and don't let the shenanigans of the state affect your collective resolve. Like, like they say, Vini Vidi Vici Agnia Virginalis. In God, we trust. We don't trust in any government. Our faith and our confidence is in the Almighty God and our collective strength to ensuring that this process is sustained. So stay right where you are. The international community is watching. And anybody that shoots one bullet, they are inviting all sorts of sanctions. And the world is watching. So stay right where you are. We shall triumph. We have come, we are seen, and we will conquer. Long live Nigerian youths. And long live democracy. God bless you all. And see you in the hall of victory. Thank you.